Greetings out there in fourth grade land. This is your lesson for the week. In fourth grade, we're going to talk about page 14 and 15. Now, I'm going to assume that you're already experts on new note F sharp, new note E, and shuffle back and forth. Don't worry about this finger. It was a piece of cardboard that cut it. Now, Mary Lee is a piece that really is just Mary had a little lamb. Just a different title for it. And it uses the notes F sharp, E, and open D. This is a violin, of course. So if you're a viola player, it's one string over. If you're a cello player, it's that string. And if you're a bass player, this thing is much bigger. Shrunk in the wash. So, Mary Lee, the most difficult measure is measure one. So here's what I propose that you do. First of all, practice your F sharp until you get a really nice sound on it. Practice your E until you get a nice sound on that one too. Some of the warm-ups we've been doing this week are finger taps on the string. Finger taps on the shoulder. Make sure it's on the tip of the finger. We've also been doing left hand pinky plucks. This strengthens our hand. We've been doing bow climbs. Mr. T's record is 17 seconds from top to bottom. No cheating, don't toss it. Keep climbing, keep climbing. You got this. Why is Mr. T so fast at this? Because he practices it every day with you guys. Look at that bow hold, looking good. Look at that violin player's pinky pinky. Here's another thing we've been doing for pinky strength. Ready, push it. Push that pinky power. Don't cheat now. Use the wrist, use the pinky finger. Pinky pump, one, two, push. Okay. That's enough of that. Next thing you should do in Mary Lee is practice going between the two fingers. In Mary Lee, first measure, there are four changes if you count the first note of measure two. F sharp to E. So we want to practice that a lot. There's E to D. We want to practice that a lot too. We want to practice going from O to 1 as well. O, 1, O, 1. And then 1 to 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. When you're feeling good about those two changes, 2, 1, 1, O, O, 1, 1, 2, put it all together in the first five notes. Here's the first five notes of Mary Lee. 2, 1, O, 1, 2. If you can do that, the rest of Mary Lee's a cinch. Now, cello players, just pretend this is a, a cello, it just got shrunk in the wash. Your fingerings are different. It would be three, one, oh, one, three. So practice three, one. One, oh, one, oh. Oh, one, oh, one. One, three, one, three. Bass players, same thing. You're gonna do four, one, four, one. One, oh, one, oh. Oh, one, oh, one. One, four, one, four, and then put it all together. Four, one, oh, one, four. You can get the first five notes of Mary Lee. The rest of it you've got, okay? Good luck with that, everybody. Second part of our lessons this week, fourth graders, is on page 15. We're playing through pieces called crossbows, double cross, crossroads, border crossing, and lacrosse. Why all that crossing? Because the point of these exercises is to change the string during the piece. For instance, crossbows. Change to A string. Change back to D string. Change to A string. Next part, and. Now I have to change in the middle of a piece. Double cross is the same thing, just on G and D string. Let me play the B section. Notice how I make sure to grab the new string. I think I could do that better, actually. That last one was better. Crossroads, border crossing, and la cross all have three quarter notes, which means our bow is going to stop at the upper half. 
Apa? Apa? And then border crossing and la cross is where it all gets put together. Border crossing. Change to A. Think of your bow direction. All of that needs to be mastered because the next step in your future is a bow circle. Leaving the string and coming back to it. Cello players, bass players, it's really the same for us, only we go this direction, horizontal. Okay, good luck with page 15. Last thing, fourth graders, I'm going to give you a little preview about what's coming up on page 16. And this is why it's so important to know all five notes on our, our D string. We're going to start skipping notes. Instead of four, three, one, we're gonna go four to two, moving two fingers at a time. And then we're also gonna go three to one. So we're skipping fingers in the middle, which also means skipping notes. If you're a cello player, that's um, gonna be A to three or four to one. If you're a bass player, that's gonna mean a lot of different things. So wait, wait for Mr. T to help you out there um, because this is all about, for basses on page 16, is all about shifting from first position to third position. That's the new skill you get to learn. All right, good luck this week, everybody. Bye-bye.